أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنِ أَمْ عَلَى قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Then do they not ponder, reflect on the Qur'an? Or is there upon some hearts their locks? Pondering on the Qur'an, dear brothers and sisters, is a way of getting guidance from the Qur'an. Ibn Hubayra, a scholar of the early times, said, Amongst shaitan's plots is to deter the slaves of Allah from pondering over the Qur'an, tadabbur. This is because he knows that guidance is attained through tadabbur. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayatih. لِيَدَّبَّرُوا آيَاتِهِ وَلِيَتَذَكَّرَ أُولُو الْأَلْبَابِ A book that we have sent down, a book we have sent down to you, blessed, that they may reflect, ponder on its verses, and that those of understanding would be reminded. The Qur'an is a blessed book, Mubarak. The word blessed means that it brings more goodness, it brings more good than expected. When we attach ourselves to the Qur'an, more good will come to, our, to us than we expect. It will increase the goodness in our life. And the word Mubarak has another very interesting meaning. It means that it brings out goodness in something that has the potential in it. Allah Ta'ala calls rain Ma'an Mubaraka, blessed water. The water brings out the potential in the seed, causing it to sprout and germinate and therefore resulting in its growth. The Quran can bring out the potential in you, the goodness that you have. Every single human being has goodness in them, potential in them. And the Quran can bring out the goodness. But how can we use the Quran to bring out the goodness in us? That they may ponder on its verses. The word tadabbur, it comes from the word dubur, meaning back. When we think about what is behind something that is tadabbur, that includes tadabbur. And to do tadabbur reflection, thinking of the Qur'an, is a way of bringing out the goodness inside of us. Dear brothers and sisters, we have to read the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اِقْرَأْ بِاسْمِ رَبِّكَ الَّذِي خَلَقُ Read in the name of your Lord who created. خَلَقَ الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ عَلَقُ Created man from a clot. اِقْرَأْ وَرَبُّكَ الْأَكْرَمُ Read and your Lord is the most generous. The first command given in the Qur'an was to read. And read what? Read the Qur'an.